Hello YouTube and welcome to another UE4 free asset pack tutorial. Very good video today. In today's video we've got um, an asset pack of a random building generator for an urban environment. What we want to gonna do is uh, go to the link in the description, download it. It's about you know, five, about 450 megabytes on Mediafire, so it's no hassle, no BS. Go get that. When you've unpacked it and put it in your, con in your project, which is usually located in your documents folder under Unreal Projects, put it in the content, root content folder of your project. Then when you've got it, go look, come to your content browser on Unreal, go to Random Building Generator UB4 Asset Pack. Then the only one you really have to do is go to Blueprints, drag out this proc building lot, drag it out, and we'll just move it across. Just move it across a bit more. Then we'll move it up. And then to start generating buildings, you click on this. If we zoom in a bit, you can see this diamond shape where it says endpoint. Click on that. Then make sure your transformation tool is on move and just drag it across. As you can see, it changes every time you drag it. You've got options down here. If you want to, if I move up now, look, so it's slightly off the ground as the building. If I move up, if I move it up, yeah, it's not bloody working. There we go. If you click on this, if we move it up, the buildings change. If you've got the buildings where you like, but you've got to move them and you don't want them to change, just uncheck randomize on drag and click on manual mode. Now when we move them into position, they don't change. We'll have it on randomize on drag and take a manual mode. Then you've got styles window, styles and allow patterns. They're already pre-chosen, all of them. But you can delete some if you don't if you don't want the different arch styles or the window styles. And then you've got chance of tieable pattern from zero is no chance of a tieable pattern between buildings. You've got from zero to one and then numbers in between, the higher the number, the more likely the build the buildings will tile. Then you've got you can choose facades. And add additional columns and all that sort of good stuff then you've got section generation setup you've got chance of mezzanine zero to one one being the most chance that the boom will generate a mezzanine floor like an in-between floor between two floors same for tr chance trim the higher the number the more likely trim you've got on the building that's if allow trims is on and as you can see they're all pretty self-explanatory you've got build building depth randomness so if you want more depth buildings turn that up well you turn this up building depth but the randomness of the building depth we want so we can turn it to say like we can have the building depth 3000 and the randomness we could have on say like five building scale you're probably going to want to leave it on default but if we was if we was to put something like we'll just copy that we'll just put something like five in there and then there you go, so the buildings are a lot, lot bigger. Obviously, you wouldn't want it that big in your game because you, you'd be like a, a dwarf compared to that. It's already pretty much got the right scale. So just go ahead. Feel free to experiment with all these settings. There's not too much to it, really. And now, since we've set that arm, um, building depth, I think. We'll put mezzanine on one and chance trim on one. Maximum add-on per lot, we'll try five. Maximum allowed scale, we'll leave that alone. Building depth roundness, we'll have it on one. Building depth for that, set, just so extreme so we can see it. 5,000. And max height, we'll have it on 9,000. And side window chance to skip column, we'll have that on 0 0.65. And side window margin, we'll have 2.75. Now if we are... Uh, if you, if you like the buildings but you want to move them slightly, you click on the facade that corresponds to the building. So this building here would be facade location 4. Click on the diamond and then on the end point, you can just and now we'll see our them. changes take place. As you can see, they're a lot taller. We'll just drag it out. That's a bit boring. Probably because we've got our tileable pattern. And as you can see, that. So, yeah, YouTube. 
that's your random building generator. If you've liked this video at all, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Look out for more free asset packs coming soon for UE4 and maybe some for Unity. Until next time, look after yourself, stay safe, be lucky. This is a specialist and I'm signing out.